Hey guys, so welcome back to the DNN Medical Series. So this is just a follow-up of the bones of the upper limb video and it's for you guys to know the bones of the hand. So everybody knows their hand and we have lots of bone in our hands and it's super important that we know them for the anatomy. So we can know about the joints and muscles that attaches hair and so on. So I made this video especially because I did not want to overwhelm all of you guys with one video with all the bones. So I'm just going to give you a mnemonic that we got while we were studying the bones of the hand. So we're going to study these bones right here. Remember, if you watch the bones of the upper limb video, you will see that I labeled these as carpal bones so these are your carpal bones and we have eight carpal bones but it's imperative it's important that you know all eight of your carpal bones so i have a mnemonic or the mnemonics that we used as a class from our tutors because they're fun tutors and this is what we use to help to remember these bones so the mnemonic is some lovers try position that they can't handle. Remember so let me show you how this works. So we're going to start with some. So the sum is S. So this one right here where you see the green is your scaphoid. I pronounce it like that, so maybe some the pronunciations may vary or vary. So this is your scaphoid bone, this is your sum. Then we're going across, you're going, let me see what this is. This is to my right, sum. The next one is lovers, lunate. So some lovers, scaphoid, lunate. Then we're going to go to try. A tri is a bone that is underneath. So we have two bones here. So one sits on top of the other. So tri is the one on the bottom right here. And we call it the, right there, we call it the triquetral bone. So some lovers try position. Position sits on tri. So this is the pisciform or the pisciform bone. So the pisiform bone sits on the triquetral bone. So let's go over the top part again. So it's some lovers try position. So we have scaphoid, lunate, triquetral, and Pisiform. So we have four so far. So we just did one line. So we're going to start over here now to do the other four. So we did some lovers try position. Then we're going to go to that. So that is your trapezium bone. So when you hear the trapezium, think of your thumb. So the trapezium bone is the one at the thumb there that they and they right here is the trapezoid so you can get confused with trapezium and trapezoid don't get confused guys this is the most tricky or this is the most difficult part of it i would say to differentiate between trapezium and trapezoid because you can get confused but it's nothing to get confused for just think about the trapezium you know the trapezium as a four shaped thingy and just think about that being in your thumb yeah trapezium your thumb yeah you get it i don't know if you get it as I use corny things to remember things, so I say trapezium, your thumb. I hope you guys understand that. So trapezium is in your thumb. Trapezoid is right there in your index finger. So that they can't. Can't is your capitate bone. Can't is your capitate bone. And capitate means... Capitate is in the center. This is this big one in the center right here is your capitate bone and second that they can't handle 
handle is your hamate bone. So when you talk about hamate, I use, you see this hook right here? I used um, the word hammer. You know, use a hammer to knock your nails and so on because it has a hook and something. Hook right here, you can see. I use a hammer to remember it. So hamate, hammer, hamate, hammer. Hope you guys get these corny things that I use. So this is it. That they can't handle. So that's trapezium thumb, trapezoid, capitate, and hamate. So let's try them again. I'll use the mnemonics first. Some lovers try positions that they can't handle. So let me say them now with the scientific terms or names. So scaphoid, say them with me, lunate. Triquetral, Pisciform, Trapezium, Trapezoid, Capitate, Hamate. Now that you know all of them because I know you guys are super intelligent, let's say them really fast. Scaphoid, Lunate, Triquetral, Pisciform, Trapezium, Trapezoid, Capitate and Hamate. So those are the names of your carpal bones. So you got all eight of them and I hope you guys understand and I want to thank you guys so much for tuning in and don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. See you soon. Bye.